Good morning, dear children. Today we are going to complete lesson number two, the floating duck exercises. That is worksheet number two. Let's start. First main question is true or false. Okay. So first main question number A is one day Dorothy got a toy pin. It's a false statement. It's wrong. Okay. Because Dorothy got a toy duck. Question number B. In her dream, she went to the sea. No, it's also a false statement. She went to a river. C. An eagle was coming down towards the toy duck. It's also a false statement because a seagull was coming towards the toy duck. Okay. Question number D. The duck fell straight to the ground. No, it's also a false statement question number e the duck was thrilled in the water yes it's a true statement let's go to the next question question number two complete the following statements you have to fill up the blanks first one is the toy duck was able to float on water f l O A T float. Question B. The children congratulated Dorothy for having such a fine duck. Congratulated C O N G R A T U L A T E D. Question C. The waves of the river water tossed the duck up and down. Tossed. T O double -S, S E D. Question D. A very big seagull was coming down towards the duck. Seagull. S E A G U double -L, L. Question E. The little duck said, I was so thrilled in the water. Thrilled. T H R I double -L, L E D. So children, these question answers we have already done. Okay. Now let's move to the next question. Use the following words to make sentences. Here some words are given. You have to use these words in the sentence. Okay. So first one is float. Fish floats in the water. <coughs> question B. Dream. My dream is to be a doctor. C. Toss. India won the toss. Question D. Shout. Don't shout. Okay, children. You can frame your own sentences also. Some nouns are given here. We have to identify whether the given noun is a common noun or a proper noun. Okay. So, first one is Delhi. Delhi is a Name of a city, particular city. It's the capital of India. Yes, isn't it? So, Delhi will come under proper noun. Mother. Mother is a common noun because we all have mothers. Yes or no? Uh, so, here mother will come under common noun. Then Gita. Gita is a name of a particular book or a girl. So, it is a proper noun. Teacher. Teacher is a common noun because teacher can be anyone, can be a sir, it can be a madam. Yes. Next one is girl. So, girl is a common noun. Why? Because girl can be anyone. It can be a Rima, Seema, Geeta, all the girls. Yes. So, girl is a common uh, noun to all the girls. Common name to all the girls. Okay. Child. Child is a common noun. Hospital. It's a common noun. Dog. It's also a common noun. Jesse. Jesse is a proper noun because it's a name of a particular person. Kochi. Kochi is a proper noun because it's a name of a particular city. Now, city. City is a 
common noun because city can be any city. It can be Delhi, it can be Kolkata, Bangalore, Chennai, Masuru, any city it can be. So the, the noun city is common because it is common to all the cities. Okay. Then house, common noun. Apple, common noun. River, common noun. Rahul, proper noun. Why? Because Rahul is a name of a particular boy or a person. Okay. Pencil, common noun. Ganga, proper noun. Peter, proper noun. Okay, children. Lion. Lion is a male gender. Okay. So, it's a masculine gender. So, its feminine gender will be lioness. Lioness is a female gender or feminine gender. Okay. Man. Man is a masculine gender or male gender. Its feminine gender will be woman. King. Masculine gender. Queen. Feminine gender. Bull. Masculine gender. Cow. Feminine gender. Okay. Likewise, uncle, aunt. Hero, heroine. Now, let's move to the next question. Here nouns are given. We have to write its plural form. So, first one is child. Its plural is children. Woman, woman. Man, men. House, houses. River, rivers. Book, books. Okay, children. So, next one is how to speak this given words. Okay. So, whenever GH is given after I, it is silent. No need to read this GH. Okay. Here also you can see. GH is given after I letter. So, in that case, GH is silent letter. Okay. So, how to read or pronounce it? Write. No need to read this GH. Okay. Write. Sigh. Might. Nigh. Wait. Frightened. Okay, children. So, remember, whenever the letter GH comes after I, it is silent. No need to read this. Okay. So, children, in question number 9, you have to draw an animal which can swim in water. Okay. Like you can draw a fish or you can draw a picture of a duck and afterwards you have to color it also. Okay, children. So, I hope you have understood this uh, lesson and exercises also. Please complete all these questions in your semester book. Okay, thank you children.